Hi everybody, it's Lori Houston. Are you ready for some football? If you all watched last week, you all know it is Pittsburgh Steelers this Sunday. I am very excited. The colors were fun to mix. I think I got them pretty close. Um, I do want to do a big shout out to the Mazorski family. They are big Steeler fans. I'm sorry it took me so long to do this team. I really was trying to get creative with it. And then my husband said, look, when you look at their uniforms, they are black and gold. You need to stick with the black and gold. So that's what I'm doing. Go Steelers. And um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start with um, the flower pop um, for the wives, the girlfriends, the moms, the sisters of the players. And then we're going to do the man cave I'm actually gonna get started on the flower pop. Let's get painting. Okay, so we are going to add the stems after it dries. I think the colors are great. Um, and I love the bold color of this um, gold um, that is in their uniforms. I'm gonna touch up the sides and then we're gonna set up for the um, man cave. 
So I'm gonna move this out of the way and we are going to um, set up for the man cave. Be right back. Hi everybody. Okay, I'm back. So we are going to now set up and what I've decided to do is I am going to flood the canvas and we are going to do the opposite. I'm gonna flood it with black and then I am going to do a ribbon pour with the gold. So I'm gonna get set up, get my paints together, and I will be right back. Okay, so here I am. I'm gonna go ahead and flood this. We all know how messy black is, but I'm gonna, like I said, we're gonna do the opposite. We're gonna do this one and the black, and we're gonna do a ribbon pour on it with the gold. I'm gonna do reverse. I think it's gonna be beautiful. And again, I just wanna do a shout out to the Mazorskis. They are just wonderful people. Um, they truly are, they're just great people. Um, I actually was raised in upstate New York. So in reality, we were rooting for rival teams. Um, but we all know Steelers has a long, long time quarterback and a good one. So we can't can't take that away from them. They are they are good. I think this is looking good. I think it covered pretty pretty well. I what I don't want to do is I don't want to overdo it. And I'm I'll be anxious to see if this um just covering these edges if this ribbon pour sticks on this black. Okay, so I'm gonna wipe my hands off and we are going to get started with a ribbon pour. Oops, I see a spot, I'm glad I stepped over here. I see a spot right here and on the corners. Let me just check all my edges again real quick. Yeah. I'm hoping, I just realized I didn't have my microphone hooked up. I'm hoping it um, ends up being loud enough since it's so close to me. That would be a bummer. Okay, I think I got all the edges. It's looking good. And now, yeah, I just form some paint. I'm gonna go ahead and torch real quick. Let's get all these bubbles. I see some bubbles. I know there's a lot of glare, but that's what you get with black paint. Lots of glare. And if there is a way to avoid that, I would love any suggestions. Um, just wanna make sure. Whoops. Okay, I think that looks good. Right now, now the fun part. Let's see if a ribbon is going to stick into um, this paint. All right, and we are going to. Okay. There I do doing this again. I don't like those wide ribbons. Yeah. You know what that means? It means scrape. Okay. Don't like those ribbons. Okay, 
that's good. Okay. Level itself out. I just, I gotta practice the ribbons off camera. I just can't get them down, Pat. But practice makes perfect. All right, let's try this again. Here we go. Good one. Okay. Nice. Like that one. Okay, let's turn it and start from another angle. I'll start here actually and go around. Oh, I like that. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Looking good. It's looking good. I'm gonna do one more. I'm just trying to figure out where. I like my edges. that looks good. I don't know if they really look like ribbons because I didn't use two colors, but I think it matches very well. Let's go ahead and see what you think. Let's put these two together. I think it usually put this one on this side. Wipe off my hands. Okay. And we'll bring this one over that's, again, I'm going to add the stems when it dries on this one, so a little bit different here. I don't want to bump it. There we go. Look at that. Is that not cool? I absolutely love it. I think this turned out great. I think it's a great way to represent Pittsburgh Steelers. It's something a little bit different than the others. Went with the two colors in a different format. I love it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to let this dry probably a day and then the next day I'll come back in and I will make the stems and I will show you the stems and once I do that we will um, then find out who my husband has picked for next week's team. Okay, everybody, I'm going to let this dry and put the stems on. I will see you shortly. Hi, everybody. You all know what time it is. Drum roll, please. My husband has the Arizona Cardinals. Yay. Awesome. Okay, Arizona Cardinals next week. Please stay tuned for the dried results of all the teams we've completed so far. Take care till next time.